it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2018, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, if you haven't downloaded the calendar and printed it out, you can get that at TrailerParkChristmas.com. And I see today that it says, Soup's on. Well, that means it's a soup recipe, and on one of these cold nights that it's coming up, that's going to be a great thing to fix for your friends or family. And today's soup actually uses seven cans. Yes, that's right. It's great things out of your cabinet already, and it uses like pinto beans and all sorts of things that you're just going to throw together, and actually chicken in a can, too. How simple is that? It's a taco soup with seven cans that you're just going to dump all together, and it's going to magically turn into soup. It's up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2018. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my taco soup is really simple, and it uses about seven cans of products, which is great to have because you could have this up into your cabinets, and it could snow, and you could be making this soup, and people will think that you went to a lot of trouble. I've got one can of pinto beans here that I've drained and rinsed, and I've got those, and I'm dumping them into the bowl. I've got black beans, which I've drained and rinsed. I'm dumping those into the bowl here. Now, I've got a can of sweet corn, and that has been drained, and you don't really need to rinse the corn, and that goes right on in there. And I've got a can of petite diced tomatoes, and I didn't drain those because we're going to use that nice liquid that's in there. Now, I have a can of chicken broth, and that is, you could use the low sodium kind if you really wanted to. That goes right on in there. And then I have a can of the chicken, and I've drained that, and I've flaked it a little bit with the fork. And that goes right on into the bowl, just like that. How easy is that? We didn't even have to cook that yet. Now, something I'm using today is green enchilada sauce. Now, this could be kind of difficult to find, um, depending on the size, but you need about, um, I don't know, about 10 ounces of that, and this is actually, um, this is 20 ounces, so um, we're actually going to use half of that. There we go. Right on into the bowl, just like that. That is so pretty, that green color. Very festive. Now, I'm using a prepared packet of taco seasoning in this. Wow, that smells really good already. It smells like it has a kick. And now, we're going to add a half teaspoon of garlic powder to that to kick it up just a little bit more. A half teaspoon of cumin right on in there. Now, you could certainly add your other ingredients in here like some fresh cilantro or anything like that. I can't wait to hear what you're going to add. And a half teaspoon of chili powder and you could use the fancy kind if you really wanted to. Now I'm going to mix this together and get this up to the stove top and check back with you in just a moment. Okay we are going to bring this up to a boil and then we're going to turn down the heat and simmer it for about 20 to 30 minutes and then it's going to be ready to serve. So I'll check back with you in just a few moments. There you have it, my seven can taco soup. And it was so simple to make, we just dumped it all in and just simmered it up on the stove top. And look at that with the corn and the actual chicken and um, the diced tomatoes and it, wow, smells so good in here too. And um, you could put some cheese or some tortilla chips up on top of it. And I'm just tired of talking about it. I can't wait to try it here. Wow, that has a kick, and it's so tasty, and that green enchilada sauce is, mmm, 
got a kick in here and it's got that chili flavor and it's just such a great soup and it tastes so homemade and you made it in just a jiffy and your your family will think you are a miracle worker in the kitchen with this mmm I hope you get a chance to make my seven can taco soup and if you do send me pictures at Jolene Sugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to like my page or subscribe or whatever you have to do to find out all the episodes that are left of Trailer Park Christmas and catch up on the ones that you may have missed because there's been quite a few. You can download the free calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com so you can follow along because I've got a video every day until the 25th and I see there's another video tomorrow and it's a special one for gluten free people and you'll like it too. So I love spending the holidays with you and I'll see you back real soon. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out.